president of Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo, has again penned down an open letter to President Muhammad Buhari on the state of insecurity in the country. The former president didn't mince words when he says the fight against insecurity is being treated with cuddling gloves instead of hammer. In recent weeks, the now suspended Ruga policy polarized Nigeria and moved the passenger expressed concern that where there is no reaction from government, people could be moved towards taking the law into their own hands, resulting in another Rwanda. This and the rising number of clashes between the headsmen and ethnic groups, the latest of which was the alleged killing of a Feniferes leader, Pafa Soroti's daughter by headsmen, prompted this letter by the former president. Ethno-religious and community conflicts, many of which derive from distorted use of oil revenue wealth, flaws in the 1999 constitution and age-old disputes over the distribution of land and other resources were not alien to the eight years of Obasanjo's rule. Obasanjo, in conjunction with his then National Security Advisor and Chief of Staff, produced the blueprint for national security but it didn't prevent the country from communal conflicts. In May 1999, Violence erupted in Kaduna over the secession of an emir, resulting in more than a hundred deaths. In November 1999, the army killed scores of civilians in Odi by also state in retaliation for the murder of 12 policemen. In February to May 2000, over 1,000 people died in Kaduna riots over the introduction of criminal sharia. In September 2001, over 2,000 people were killed in inter-religious rioting in Jos. In October 2001, hundreds were killed and thousands displaced in communal violence that spread across the Middle Belt. On October 1, 2001, President Obasanjo announced the formation of a National Security Commission to address the issue of communal violence. Unfortunately, violence, destruction of oil infrastructure and kidnappings of extratrades in the oil-rich Niger Delta by militant reigned till he stepped down from office in 2007. In his latest open letter to the president, Obasanjo has listed the necessary steps Bwari needs to curb insecurity. Roots TV Nigeria.